I'm Naama Geva Zatorsky. I've opened my lab here at the Technion almost three years ago at the Rappaport Faculty of Medicine, uh, before which I was at my postdoc at Harvard Medical School in the lab of Professor Dennis Kasper, uh, where I was fortunate to make my dream come true, which was to study the gut bacteria, the small organisms, each one one cell, that communicate between each other and complement our physiology. And here in lab, we pursue this, uh, these studies, studying the mechanisms of these interactions, which microbial molecules are important for our health, and how do they communicate with us. So I'll show you my lab. Um, this is the most important room, uh, which is the room where we grow the bacteria. The gut bacteria are anaerobes, so they grow uh, without oxygen. Oxygen actually kills some of them. So this is why we need to grow them in this uh, special uh, chamber, the anaerobic chamber, where we wash out all the oxygen and uh, we can grow the bacteria in different types of uh, conditions. And here is an example of a tube where you see the media is not transparent, meaning the bacteria grew in it. Otherwise, it would have been transparent. Um, I will also uh, present you to my students, so we can start here uh, first with uh, Haitem and uh, Nero. Haitem is uh, studying the interactions between the gut bacteria and the brain. It's a new field which, which is called the gut-brain axis, and this we're doing in collaboration with Professor Asia Rolls, also here at the Faculty of Medicine. And Haitem and Nero uh, are studying how can we fluorescently label the gut bacteria to visualize them live uh, both to study the interactions between them and how they complement uh, the host. You can see bacteria in blue, in green, and in orange. And these are three different bacteria labeled with three different colors. You can see them simultaneously uh, while they're living, and it can be also visualized inside live organisms. Um, this is Maxime, uh, who has recently joined the lab. <laughs> And uh, this is Rawi, uh, who is uh, studying uh, several uh, projects. Uh, Rawi is studying uh, how the gut bacteria can uh, be used as therapeutics for cancer, both to cancer prevention and um, for cancer eradication. And together with Nadav and many other in the lab, they led um, recently a project on uh, corona, actually, where we developed a protocol to detect corona in people. It's actually now developed as a home kit. So pink is um, negative and yellow is positive. And the idea is to spit and uh, visualize in several uh, minutes whether you are positive or negative for the virus. Nadav uh, and Rabi also study antibiotic resistant bacteria. You can see here a plate uh, with uh, bacteria that are antibiotic resistant. So it's a special plate where these bacteria grow black. So you can count them, and after their, uh, the method that they developed, you can see that uh, the, the microbes, the, these antibiotic resistant microbes are um, eradicated. And the last bay here is uh, the bay of uh, Lilach, Noah, and Dana. Lilach and Noah are studying how the gut bacteria communicate with the immune system, and the actual interactions, the actual molecules, and the crosstalk between them. And Dana is uh, studying um, the viruses in the gut, the bacterial viruses, so viruses that infect bacteria. Uh, how, how are they, are they important uh, to bacterial functions and how does this affect the host? And the last room is uh, this uh, room which is called the tissue culture room, where we grow um, bacteria together with uh, host cells, mainly the cells from our immune system. Uh, sometimes cells from our blood, sometimes um, other cells. Um, and that's how we can study the actual interactions between the bacteria and the host. So all in all, we study how these uh, gut microbes, which are called the forgotten organ of our body, can complement our physiology. Where are, in which uh, disease states are they important and how can we harness them as therapeutics? Um, I would really like to say it's very exciting uh, to talk with you. Uh, any of this work would have been possible without your help. It's very crucial to us. Um, and this Technion environment is a really amazing place to work at. A lot of collaborations, a lot of expertise, engineering, biology, meet together and really work uh, together on, on projects. I really feel we're, we're uh, 
at the cutting edge of science uh, worldwide. Thank you very much.